There's a first time for everything, and today is one of those days. We are talking about Jed North, a brand that I have never even tried, let alone featured on this channel. They are actually a super well-known brand. I've seen them on Amazon before. Just from their many different Instagram accounts, I could tell that they cover a wide variety of active lifestyles. And when I looked on their website, when sifting through, like, damn, there's a lot of athleisure that I didn't really know about. So we have a really nice variety in today's haul. We have some matching sets, some mix and matches, sweats, shorts, athleisure, yoga wear. A huge thank you to Jed North for sponsoring today's video and sending these pieces out my way to review. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we have a ton of exciting videos to come. First set we're checking out is the Rio ribbed set. <laughs> Sports bra and biker shorts in the color teal. Right off the bat, when there's this thick of a strap, this heavy rib, I automatically think of loungewear. I don't necessarily think, oh, I'm gonna wear this to the gym. I think it's very true to size up top. You do have removable bra pads. I would give it just a light to moderate support throughout. These buttons are fake. It's all for the aesthetic. I don't know about you, but I don't wear bras. Like, I don't own bras. I only own sports bras. Things like this is what I'm gonna grab when I wanna be very comfortable for the day and then throw a, a casual shirt over top. But what I love about this bra is that there really is no dig. It's just laying over the body as it should. It is not intrusive in any way. It is very well behaved. The shorts, however, I knew I should have sized up in these shorts. I went my true size small. Now, even though it's great up top, if there's any inkling of it choking my leg out, I'm automatically like, all right, I wish I sized up. It's a shame because it fits so well around the waist. I actually really love the sizing around the waist here. It's not pinching in and creating any kind of unwanted bulging up top. This is about 85% squat proof. Again, I'm not gonna necessarily work out in it, but if you are somebody who wants to be active in this type of set, you might want it to be sheer. I mean, no. <laughs> you might want it to be as squat proof as possible. So sizing up may help that. We have the Embody Buckle long sleeve crop top paired with the Flow high rise legging. So now we're getting into more of the yoga wear. What attracted me to this long sleeve top, you guessed it, it's that hanging buckle you see right there. It's a cute little addition to the look of a set, but it also seems like it could be super functional in keeping the crop top in place. This is giving me that warrior kind of look because you got that spliced seam going right over the one titty. You got a subtle v-neck and this is actually really cool looking, this buckle thing. I wasn't sure how it's gonna respond to this buckle thing. Yeah, okay, it's keeping it in place really nice. This is good if you're doing yoga and you're really getting into that back bend. Ooh, that's sexy. Yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this long sleeve. I like it a lot more than I anticipated. Very, very soft. Yogi Central, my yogi babes, where are you at? I think this set, you would love it. You do have hidden thumb holes too in here. You don't see it. They look completely like a normal sleeve, but I look closely and yep, you just slip your thumb right in there. What's really unique about this top is that it has removable bra pads. So right now, I'm not wearing a bra or anything underneath. I love that. So you don't have to like try to find something to go underneath it. The leggings, when I put them on, they're so lightweight. These are an extremely lightweight pair of yoga leggings, extremely soft, brushed feeling. As far as the waistband goes, like this is super low support. Again, it's just yoga. I feel like just stretching and using this athleisurely is what I would do. I mean, look at, look at that stretch in the band. There's no real tummy control going on in here whatsoever. It's actually super squat proof for how thin it feels. About 90% squat proof. So if you're in a downward dog, you're good girl. In terms of sizing, totally true to size all around. If you're in between, I would say size down in the top because it is adjustable. And I would also say size down in these leggings as well if you're in between sizes because it is so stretchy. Extremely lightweight, it's like a second skin legging. So I paired the Coco Rib Flowy Shorts with the Valentina Ribbed Long Sleeve Crop Top. I love ribbed anything. To me, when I think athleisure, I think ribbed. White is just one of those colors that I, I do plan to get dirty. Like I just have to come to terms with that, that I'm gonna get this filthy. End of story. Let's start with these shorts. First thing I noticed, 
they're a little bit sheer. Right here is not because you got the pockets. I originally got these to actually wear out, but now that there's a little bit of like sheerness going on, I think I'm gonna use it as a swimsuit cover up. I think it'd be good for that. But it is so soft and the material itself is extremely stretchy. Really nice stretchy band right here. Just a really nice casual wear per se walking on the beach. I think it's super true to size. I wouldn't size up or down, hell no. Let's talk about this top though, all right? This one, this is also a little bit see-through. I'm actually wearing a plain white bralette underneath this. This top is so fresh looking. Like if I zip it up, all of a sudden you got that high neck collar. I think it's really, really such a cute, kind of preppy look, very clean looking that you can wear with some high-waisted jeans if you're going out to dinner. Something like that, or I mean being active, but then again, me in white, if I'm gonna sweat in it, that's no good for me. Very stretchy. The rib is actually very heavy, so even though this looks like the perfect little summertime fit, it's not extremely lightweight. It's dense. Really appreciate the thumb holes. You usually don't see that on a piece like this where it's more fashion-y than anything. I would say everything is super true to size. I wouldn't size up or down. If you're in between, I would say size up in the shorts and size down in the long sleeve, only because if, if I were to size up, I feel like it'd, it'd be a little baggy in this area. This is a type of long sleeve that you want it to be form fitted. And again, it's very stretchy, so I don't think it would sacrifice the comfort. This one's the snatched bodysuit shape wear in the color nude. Okay, so this bodysuit's a little bit too short for me. And as it is moving around, you can see a little bit of wrinkle, so, I mean, I, I just definitely would not size up. And I get a major uni button in this. The, that's not too much of a concern because I didn't plan to wear this just as is. I did plan to wear it with a cardigan. You do have the removable bra pads. And again, this is adjustable. I do love the color. The nude color is very pretty. And if you look up close, you can see it's more of that Marley design. So you have a little bit of the white speckles with some nude. You have the princess padded crop top and the cozy knit joggers. Cozy knit joggers, oh damn, those are cozy. That's plush if I ever did feel it. I love this crop top because even though it's white, it's not sheer. This is a very thick white material, whereas that one ribbed top, you can pretty much see through it. A little cinched decal right in the middle, so it's right, just grabs your attention right at the center here where you want it. Just like I don't like my shorts cinching in around my thighs, I don't like my short sleeves cinching in around my arms. They have some nice let up going on right here. Mm -hmm. And the support here is pretty nice too. My 34 B's staying intact. If your sizing is like mine, I would stick to your true size. My small's working, but if I'm in between, I might consider sizing down just to ensure that I have protection where I need it. The joggers when putting them on were a lot more form fitted than I had anticipated. I'm not totally complaining. The form fit caught me off guard. But nevertheless, it is really, really stinking cute. Even though this is very form fitted, I do like the little bit of extra bag you got going on right around the crotch region so there's no ride up. If you're in between sizes with these sweatpants, I would suggest sizing up. I think you need a little more room because if I went down, it's not like, right here could potentially be a little too tight. While we're on the topic of joggers, check out this all black set. We have the rain crop top that I paired with the rest day joggers. This is the one piece where you can really see that Jed North logo. It's stitched right in, but it's really in your face because it's just that white against the black contrast. Ooh, this top would look so good with a pair of tight fit black jeans, high-waisted. Oh, so fierce and sexy. It's actually really comfortable because you have a nice grab here where it counts. Those are bra pads, all right? Don't get it crazy here. These are bra pads, not my actual boobs. It's totally true to size. If you're in between, I would suggest sizing down just to avoid any uh, extra loose areas right around here. So these sweats are just as thick as the sweats you just saw. However, they're definitely different. Like this really big chunky band here snatches the waist really nice. You have the matching cuff to go with it on the ankle. How thick is that elastic band? I think they're a little bit more comfortable than the gray ones you saw. These are very, very true to size. You could get away with sizing down if you want a little tighter of a fit. You probably were like the whole video, like girl, talk about that sports bra you're wearing. Well, here we are. Looking at the Bloom foot strap. That's right, I said it, foot strap legging with the Bloom crisscross sports bra. This yoga legging is a little bit thicker than the blue one that you saw. This also feels a little less brushed. 
feels slightly more durable, not gonna lie. <sighs> Let's start with the leggings. So I feel like they're very similar in a lot of ways. You still have the V seam, it's super solid, no crazy contouring or anything whatsoever. I actually like that these are thicker because they're a little more cellulite friendly, whereas the blue ones showed a bit more cellulite. So that's a plus. This is just the quintessential yoga legging. I don't think you're gonna benefit much from this legging if you don't do yoga, because then what are you gonna do with that strap down there? <laughs> you're gonna fold it up, what are you gonna do? Same exact compression as the other yoga leggings, so very, very low support throughout. Again, this is something I would just use athleisurely or do in my deep yogi stretches and pretty damn decent in the squat proof department as well. I'd give it a good 90%. The bra. This is exactly the kind of bra that I like. The low support, the real pretty delicate yogi strappy back. This whole set just works, it flows. Out of all the sports bras and all the tops that you see in today's haul, this is my favorite of them all. This one here is called the Batty Criss Cross bodysuit in the color peach. What sold me was the back, the crisscross look, that baddie look. Okay, so we got a lot going on. Like, there's no support right here, none. I mean, I think you could see where my issues lie with this. I was hoping for a little more grab, a little support, a little more smooth, just like this. This is what I wanted. I actually threw over these flow shorts because this is how I pictured pairing it because it goes so perfectly with the white on the back. What a shame, because look at that back. How freaking pretty is this? To wear it in the summertime? Come on now. Due to the lack of adjustments, this is just, this just is taking over and has a mind of its own right now. You most definitely need to size down. I really should have sized down in this for sure. This does have that little clasp. All right, in case you were wondering. All right, so that concludes today's video and my first impression of Jed North. First of all, what are your thoughts from what you saw in today's video? Comment down below. I gotta say, luckily, I got to try a nice, healthy variety of what they offer on their website. I think the quality is definitely there. I do think a couple of the pieces need a little bit of work, like that one bodysuit. But other than that, I am pleasantly surprised with their yoga wear. They're definitely a brand I would like to try more from and hopefully keep up with their new releases because they do have really nice looking things. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this every single week. I love you all so much and I will catch you in my next video.